His name is Emmett Till. He was taken in the middle of the night from my uncle's, um, Mr. Moe's Wright's home in Money, Mississippi. He was taken by white men. Mamie Till Mobley, the mother of Emmett Till, turned her grief into a force for change following the brutal murder of her son in rural Mississippi after he was kidnapped by two white men in 1955. Let the people see what they did to my boy. Now her role in history and the legacy she's left behind is being spotlighted in the new six-part ABC series, Women of the Movement. I want a public wake tonight, open casket, and I don't want you doing a thing to him. Mobley's decision to put her private pain on public display, showing the brutality of 14-year-old Emmett Till's death, shocked the world, changing hearts and minds. Her quest for justice is also chronicled in the companion docuseries, Let the World See, which features illuminating interviews from celebrities like Common to former First Lady Michelle Obama. Just trying to find a place where your kids can grow up safe and healthy and whole. That is a struggle, a conversation that every mother has. To Emmett Till's own family, who were eyewitnesses to the tragedy, a tragedy that started with those two white men knocking on the door in the middle of the night. So it flashed like shines, and I could see the big bald headed guy with the pistol in there. And I'm waiting to be shot, and I closed my eyes. And uh, I wasn't shot. I opened my eyes, and they're passing by me because they were looking for Fat Boy, the Fat Boy from Chicago. They went to the next room and found Emmett, and they told him to get up. And he got up, and he was putting on his shoes, and they said, Hurry up. And he said, I'm not used to putting on my shoes without my sock. And that's the last time we saw him. This is the muddy backwoods Tallahatchie River, where a weighted body was found. Then the call came. Emmett's body had been found. And Mamie started crying and yelling, and we didn't know what had happened. The grief in the house, the sadness in the house, was horrible. The screaming, the disbelief. But she had to pull herself together because she had to get the mechanisms in place to bring him back to Chicago. Now the Tallahatchie County Sheriff, H.C. Strider, orders that Emmett's body be buried immediately before the sun sets that day. First of all, why is the sheriff even making that decision? When have you heard of a sheriff deciding that the body should be buried? There's something really, really that they're trying to hide here. For his mom, that was an immediate red flag. She set off a domino effect. Miss Mamie began to call everybody she knew. She called the governor, she called Mayor Daly, she called everybody she could touch and finally got them engaged to, to bring the child home. The night they brought Emmett's body back from Mississippi, everybody went down to the train station. The body came in, I understand, a, a wooden seal box. Her uncle and authorities had signed an agreement that the casket would be sealed. Why would Mississippi want a sealed casket? Hmm. Emma's mother said, well, give me a crowbar, give me whatever. What can they do to me? They've taken my son. It's powerful, and it's, it was history changing. That one little act of, I'm going to see my son, I'm going to see my son's face, literally changed history as we know it. 
Ultimately, of course, it was Mamie's actions that changed history. Both series, Women of the Movement and Let the World See, premiere Thursday night on ABC starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. And of course, you can also watch later on Hulu. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.